in a good Git workflow, you're going to end up with a bunch of branches. And they are eventually just going to clutter up, and you might even be confused about which branch you need, stuff like that. So today, we're going to look at just deleting a local Git branch and a remote Git branch. For me, it's going to take three commands, but that's only because I have two remotes. So let's dive in and do it. First thing we need to identify is probably our remote. So we'll hit world tight git remote-v. And you can see my two remotes. I have GitHub and origin. And we can do git branch. And I already know that I need to delete the branch labeled bug slash 20 shop title font weight. And that would go with in GitHub these um, bugs here. You can see I have 21, 12, and 8. Those are the only three open bugs. So really everything else in here can get deleted. We're going to issue a few commands to do that. The first command we're going to do is git branch dash d, or you can do capital D, and then the branch name bug slash 20 dash shop title font weight. So we've deleted that. So next I need to delete it from my two remotes. And that's accomplished by typing git push dash dash, oh, sorry, git push and then the remote name. So origin dash dash delete and now the bug name bug 20 shop title font wait and this is gonna ask me for my root password so I'll type that in and now it's deleted and now to delete from my github remote I need to do git push github dash dash delete bug slash 20 shop title font wait. And again, it'll ask me for my password. And that's it. So now if I hit clear, get branch, those are the branches that I have. And I'm going to go through and delete some more because I just don't need these all. It's going to keep my git flow, uh, my process cleaned up so I just don't have extra branches kicking around confusing me. If you'd like to see like my full Git workflow, how I, you know, use GitHub, how I am dealing with it so that I can keep things on track with clients, stuff like that, let me know in the comments. If you want to see any other like, I don't know, Vim or other stuff techniques, this is actually I'm working on a remote server on DigitalOcean right now. So if you want to see anything else that I'm you know, doing with that, how I make that work and how I make that work generally with my iPad, it's actually doing some video rendering stuff right now. So I'm not using my iPad and this is on Mac OS, but I do the exact same commands using Tmux, using everything on a remote server. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, you can subscribe. If you really liked it, I guess you can hit the thumbs up button. If you really loved it, don't hit the stupid bell though, because you got work to do. So go do that, go read, go do something else and schedule some YouTube time, be productive with your time. Thanks for watching.